Hey there, YouTubers and budget baristas. This is Michel Bartending with a quick update on my bottomless porter filter for my DeLonghi espresso machine and why I stopped using it. Just quickly jump to the reason why. By removing the material to make this a bottomless porter filter, it actually weakens the structure of the filter. You can already see a bit in profile here. This weakening caused the metal, or I guess it's a cast steel alloy, to deform with heating and cooling. You can see on the side here that the top half is not a perfect straight line. Not anymore. It's actually rounded off a bit, especially near the part at the tip, away from the handle, where there is the least material. You can also see from the front that it's kind of formed a concave line there, which does not provide the proper seal that this straight line does when inserted into the station. So what I encountered was while trying to make single shots with this one, that the coffee sputtered all over the place. It had actually just lost its seal and thus has become worthless to me for making coffee right now. Was it still useful? Was it worth it? Definitely. Making this bottomless porter filter allowed me for, I guess, a good two months at least to actually see what was happening when I tamped and made my espresso shot and allowed me to perfect my tamping which is very important to do. It gave me the opportunity to create a rhythm with correct tamping, trying out my leveling and experimenting with the coffee grind and seeing all those things come together in a clear stream that was bereft of channeling. So to improve your tamping, I would definitely um, advise you to try and make this bottomless porter filter. The unit itself here in Europe cost me like 18 euros just to handle itself. So that was a minor investment. It took me a good 30 minutes to grind this off with a Dremel tool. As you can see in my DeLonghi modification video, definitely worth it. And now I just keep it as, well, I don't know, uh, a sweet souvenir. So if you're planning to prepare your porter filter in this manner. Keep in mind that it will deform over time. Second side note, I did have my birthday yesterday. So I got all these goodies from my family so I can now venture into other ways of making coffee. Looking forward to compare the uh, cafetier, the Chemex, the mocha pot and the V60. I'm looking forward to getting an AeroPress and maybe even a vacuum machine for the uh, near future. But first, I have to dive headfirst into this using this nice Dutch book called Coffee Kerner What You Zo. I bought this at Badeta Coffee Roasters here in Amsterdam Zuid. But first, I will show you how I make a latte. Also with a homemade syrup. I'll put the recipe in the video once it's done. And I'll explain the difference between a latte and a cappuccino. So, looking forward to experimenting with coffee. And see you in the next video. Enjoy your coffee. Peace.